Side note, ignore the tarantulas on my eyes. It was a poor decision, but they're already glued down, so they are staying. So Pat McGrath announced this morning that there is a new Mothership palette. I called it. Okay, if you guys watched my Shopper Drop a few days ago, I said it's about that time for a new Mothership to come out. She only launches one a year. If you're new to Pat McGrath, her Mothership palettes, the M-O-T-H-E-R Mothership palettes are the best palettes that she has. Also the most expensive, but also the most luxurious. You get her beautiful Bliss Astral shades, which she doesn't come out very often. And normally it's just, it's a luxury. You know, it's the palettes that I'm most excited to come out and they're very pricey, but, but only one comes out a year. So the initial reveal is on Instagram. I've already watched it. I've already collected my thoughts. Let's take a look together though, if you haven't seen it. Now, as of now, at the current moment that I'm filming this, there's no information on the launch date. I will put the link down below to the VIP waitlist. So if you put your email into there, it, Pat McGrath will email you an hour before the palette officially launches and it, that link will also take you to the page just so that you can see the products and a little bit more information. But let's start off on Instagram. Something to note about Pat McGrath's Instagram, everything is heavily, heavily filtered. So I don't know that these are going to be true to life. I, I don't think they're going to be, but let, <laughs> let's just take a look here. I've already watched this twice, you guys. So <laughs> this is not my first time viewing it. All right, pressing play. So the box, I was like, this is gonna be Divine Rose 3. That was my initial thoughts. I was hopeful not. And see, it looks really cool and mauve -y. And don't the Blitz shades in here look extra beautiful and extra glimmery? And there's five. That's exciting. And then you have the mattes and the mattes don't look very exciting to me. Okay, so there are four true Blitz Astro shades and then one that seems to be kind of an in-between a Blitz and a Shimmer shade. I'll pause it when I get the chance to. Okay, so let's talk about these right here. These look heavily filtered because don't these shades look a little chalky? I don't know. They look very boring, like a gray shade, a shimmery white. This shade we have a billion times over. Pat McGrath cannot live without putting a peachy rosy shade and we have two of them this one looks a little bit more purpley but she had to throw them in didn't she it's like she's being stubborn she's like you're gonna get a peachy shade this looks champagne but in other photos it looks more gold and you know pat mcgrath needs her signature gold in every palette as well i'm excited about this shade right here because it looks really cool toned and i don't know is it a blitz astral is it a shimmer normally the uh, eyeshadows put in this position are not a blitz astral shade but look stunning and okay Okay, look at these. These look more glittery. I feel like we're gonna get a formulation similar to the super glittery shades in the Hutopian Dream Palette, the most recent one that came out last year. I feel like these are gonna be that kind of texture. You have kind of like a blue, brown, green shift here. I mean, MAC Club, if you know, you know. That came out so many years ago. This is like an extra glittery version of MAC Club. We have a Blitz Astral Gold. Okay, we didn't need it, but I'll take it as long as it's a Blitz shade, like a white shade, and what looks to be like a chromish pinky shade. That almost has some green to it. See, these look a lot different in this lighting. That one looked a lot more gold. So inconsistent lighting is what we have now, so it's hard to see what is actually in the palette. I'm going to take you to this video over here next. So they're putting that club shade like on a model it looks so beautiful it's a blitz astral shade it's always going to and then hold on it's coming you guys oh i missed it okay here we go see don't these look extra glimmery but then these are giving dull no like these are giving chalky dull <laughs> in this lighting i don't know but i feel like blitz astral shades are gonna pop off in this launch okay so then i'm going to the main mothership page and look at this video. So Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction. So we have some model shots here. This is the banner on the website. You're able to see it. We have some visuals here coming soon. See, the, f the filters here just make, it, make me so excited. Moonlit Seduction, love the name. I wish you would have done something different with the packaging, but look at those colors. See, this looks a little bit more cool and bright and poppy in this banner. Everything is looking different. I don't know. And then when you're on the page, here is what the palette looks like. Okay. 
I don't know what to go by because this does not look as exciting. And I will say 100% of the time, the Pat McGrath palettes just look so much better in person. They have more pop to them as well. I know this photo is not going to do the palette itself justice, but you can see that blue-green shifty shade, the gold. It's not given, if I'm being honest. Particularly in this photo, it's not giving. I feel like this is kind of a random curation of colors. I don't know. Now, other than the videos, what also leads me to believe that this palette is going to be extra blingy is look at the packaging itself. There's glitter on her eyes, glitter on her lips. I feel like the theme here is that you're getting some super glimmery, shimmery lit astral here. It's everywhere. So here is kind of the explanation of the palette. So these are 10 moonlit shades of starry-eyed ecstasy. Prepare to dance the night away in a decadent, dazzling, and discopulent array of nocturnal neutrals inspired by sensually starlit seductions under the mesmerizing moon. This is not in English. This is a foreign language. <laughs> Each hedonistic hue inspires glamorous structure in 10 warmly wearable shades with unprecedented single stroke intensity. So there's one wording kind of here that stood out to me. They are advertising this as warmly wearable shades. So I think Pat McGrath has gotten very comfortable in knowing that they're able to sell a wearable palette with wearable shades. But the true fans of Pat McGrath, at least my followers, I want a pastel palette. I want a purple green blue palette. I want a nighttime smoky jewel toned palette. Pat McGrath has not been giving that to us. Every single mothership palette that's launched in the last couple of years have just been safe really wearable and she's launched so many of them and this I feel like fits right in with that category at least for what I'm seeing now so I'm not gonna lie I'm a little disappointed by this one we have the golds we have the peaches she has that in every other palette and we still have it in this palette now do keep in mind the reason she's coming out with wearable palettes is because they're selling this is what the sales are telling them to do this is what people are gonna buy but you know as a diehard Pat McGrath fan I can't help but be like this is not what we want though because I feel like Mothership 1, 2, and 3, those were true Pat McGrath. They were daring, they were bold, they were glamorous. Even if they were wearable, they had shades to turn it into nighttime. We have Mothership 3, which has these colors that she wouldn't dare put out now. So I don't like the direction that these motherships have been going in. I'm, if I'm being honest, these are not what the first three launches of the motherships gave us. And I'm bored. I mean, this, to be fair, this is not Divine Rose 3, and that I'm happy about. Listen, there is a 100% chance, like I said, that this palette is going to be beautiful in person, especially if she really did decide to make these blood tassel shades more blingy and glittery. And in that case, I could forgive the boring left side of the palette because we just want to put the glitter all over our eyelids anyways. I don't feel like the images that she's giving us are true to life, really. They're either filtered or they're this very washed out photo on the internet. And yeah, but overall, I mean, my my thoughts on this palette are not... I'm not saying I'm not excited. I'm obviously very, very excited, but this is just not what I wanted. I was hoping for a little bit more. You can put a brown in, Pat. It's okay, but stop with the roses. Give me a little bit of color, a little bit of pop. Let's... Let's go back to Mothership 1, 2, and 3 era, okay? <laughs> so anyways, if you look on the page, they're also launching a new matte liquid liner in the shade Black Coffee. They currently only have black. I really love this liquid liner, except for the fact that it dries out in like two months for me. I've gone through so many of them, I've stopped buying them because they're too expensive. They just don't last. So while I love a good brown liner, and I'm really happy to see her come out with a brown liner, I won't be purchasing it because I'm just not partial to the liner itself. I imagine that this palette's gonna be $128, and it's not gonna go on sale for a few months, so keep that in mind unless you buy it for from a different retailer because normally her new launches even though Pat McGrath has sales all the time the new palettes aren't included so it will be a while before you can get this on a discount but you definitely will be able to eventually so let me know your thoughts down below on the new moonlit seduction palette from Pat McGrath I obviously will be picking it up to review for you guys I'm excited but I'm also like 
I feel like this is a repeat of what we have. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I need to see it in person. Her imagery has not has not fed my soul. <laughs> Anyways, I'm totally looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this palette. Are you excited? Is this what you're looking forward to? Is this your kind of palette? Yeah. Okay. I'll be waiting in the comments for you guys.